Crafting supply number five, a garden sprayer. This first unlikely terrain crafting supply is a garden sprayer. This useful piece of equipment is very handy for spraying watered down PVA glue. It doesn't clog up like your typical spray bottle, as long as you keep it clean. Rinse it out and spray some soapy water through your sprayer after use, and you'll be good. These are also very affordable with a price tag of $15 to $30 and even have free shipping on Amazon. Check out my description for some direct links to Amazon that I've handpicked for you. Number four, a serrated knife. Everyone uses heat tools and hobby knives when carving out their foam projects. But did you know a serrated knife is excellent for carving out rocky textures with minimal effort? Rather than just slicing smoothly through the foam like a heat tool or a hobby knife, your serrated knife will rip and tear its way through the foam. When painted up, that tearing makes for some realistic rock texture. Pick these up at your local dollar store or at Walmart. The cheap ones really should suffice. Number three, a kitchen torch. Easily melt foam with a kitchen torch. This is great for making quick indentations for terrain like pools of water or for giving a melted look to lava terrain. But make sure that you're working in a well-ventilated area and wear a respirator as burning foam can produce toxic chemicals. You can snag a cheap but good kitchen torch on Amazon for about 10 bucks. Also, make sure to pick up some butane fuel to fill your torch. If you're getting something out of this video, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That really helps get this video out there to more crafters like you and me. Number two, foam safe spray paint. Foam safe spray paint is always a pleasure to use. While most spray paints are full of foam melting acetone that can melt and ruin your foam projects, I've devised a list of water-based spray paints that are completely safe for foam. There will be a link to that video on the screen and in the description. Feel free to watch that video after you've watched this one if you want to see a tutorial about how foam safe spray paints work. If you'd rather jump straight into it and not watch another video, then check out the Amazon affiliate link for Liquitex spray paint in my description and you'll also help support the channel. Number one, a laser engraver. The most beast of a tool that I have for building terrain is my laser engraver. These are great for engraving all sorts of materials. That includes EVA and XPS foam in case you want to add a little bit more automation to your hobby. Basically, no more drawing brickwork for hours with a ballpoint pen. Let a machine do the dirty work. I paid around 500 bucks for my Ortur Laser Master Pro, but there were plenty of cheaper options on the market as well, and if you're just trying to engrave, you're not really going to need a high-powered laser. And with enough passes, this will even cut through materials like MDF and chipboard. If you've gotten something out of this video and would like to give back to me, then don't forget to shop my Amazon links in the description of this video. That really does help out the channel. Thanks so much.